Hello everyone. I'm going to be showing you this script that will automatically connect to a computer using PS session. Once connected, it will delete a folder within that computer. I left the script in the description below. Go ahead and copy it from the description below. Once you've done so, paste it over to a notepad as shown here. And go ahead and save that notepad somewhere on your desktop. Go ahead and open up Windows PowerShell ISE. Click on the search. Type in PowerShell ISE. Right click. Run as administrator. Allow time for it to load. Once loaded, in the right hand corner, you'll see the scripts drop down. Click on that and paste in the script. You don't have to modify the script. It's good as is. The only part you will have to modify is the path. And we'll see more in detail. The path here is a C drive test folder. This is a Windows 10 computer that's connected to a domain. I set up the lab. I also have a video where I show you how to set up this lab. On the Windows server, just click on File Explore. And within the C drive, go ahead and create a test folder. New folder and name it test. Now the Windows 10 computer is going to start a PS session using PowerShell. And then it's going to delete this folder. Let me go ahead and go over to the Windows 10 computer. I supplied it this specific path. Depending on what folder you want to delete, the path may be different. Now, go ahead and click Run Script. And just to talk a little bit about this script, you can see that your input will be stored in the computer name variable. The Windows Server is named DC1 for Domain Controller 1. It'll prompt me to enter a computer name, and I'll go ahead and enter that computer name. Next, press Enter. And just like that, it has connected to the computer automatically and deleted the test folder. Let's go ahead and verify. As you see, the test folder no longer exists as it has been deleted. Now, I'm going to click on Users, Administrator, Desktop, and I'm going to create a folder here named Test. This time, I'm going to show you how to do it using a different path and modifying the script. 
copy the path location. And you can paste it there. I'm just going to type mine out because I have yet to enable copy and paste for my virtual machines. Or I'll just set C drive users administrators desktop. test. Now within the test folder, I'm going to put a document. called doc. This time it'll be deleting the folder with sub contents. As you see, capitals and lowercase do not matter when you're working with PowerShell. Go ahead and click run script. Input the computer name, in this case DC1, and click enter. You're going to be prompt do you want to? Delete all subfolders. Click yes all. And just like that, that folder has now been deleted from that specific location. Please like and subscribe so I can create more content. Thank you.